What's up, YouTube? It's your girl LJ, and I'm back with another video. All right, YouTube, like I just said, I'm back with another video, and today was my first day back to school, and I meant to do this video before I went back to school, so I know I have to make this video because it's very important because everyone's going back to school and I feel like why not make this video okay why not make this video by the way I haven't posted it yet but I turned 21 so happy birthday to me I'm 21 now so I'm legal yes 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 my hair is kind of crazy it was raining today but I mean it's okay and I need my nails done bear with me my life is crazy is really crazy right now but um so this video is basically tips for going back to school if you're going to high school if you're going to middle school anything like i'm gonna just give you some tips that i feel that everybody should know when entering a new school or if you're going back to school just motivation in general and some tips that you need to stay on your T's and not fuck up. I shouldn't have cursed, but that's how serious I am right now. Y'all need to listen to everything I have to say because it's true. So take notes, get y'all paper and y'all pencils out or your pens or y'all uh, markers, whatever. Take something out and take notes and, um, Yeah. okay so number one stay focused do not get distracted okay school always comes first because if you put something before school that's just gonna mess you up like you just gonna be like damn I don't have enough time now so you need to make sure that you stay focused and you need to make sure that you just be on top of your shit. Don't wait. That's number two. Don't wait till the last minute. Do not procrastinate. Because if you procrastinate, you are going to feel it in the end. Like, you're going to be like, damn, why did I wait so long? So, like, you need to make sure you on top of your stuff. Like, do not wait. Do not wait. Don't wait. Don't wait till the last minute. I'm telling you. I am the world's biggest procrastinator. It's official. I think I got a certificate in it. But like, for real, I'm telling you, rushing does not make it any better. Some people just have it like that. Well, I'm one of those. I'm one of those people that got it like that. But not everybody got it like that where if they wait till the last minute, they stuff be A1. So just do it do it like two okay two days before you pushing it but you still got time to like do it go over it and fix it and then turn it in so you need to make sure that you give yourself enough time to do stuff which relates back to being focused and not being distracted on other things okay and i'm sure your teachers tell you that or you know your parents or grandparents or anybody Anybody could tell you that, but like for real, that's really one, two things that you need to be like on it, okay? Like you need to make sure, get the school stuff out the way before you have fun, okay? Like just do it. If you do it, then you don't have to worry about it. Like you just be like, oh, I did that already. And I can do whatever I want, okay? Um, Number three, now look. In high school, I never was involved in any type of drama because, one, what I look like getting into some drama, like, what I look like arguing with somebody, right, it don't look like I argue with somebody, but I mean, I'm not even, I'm not gonna say, if somebody said something to me, I would definitely say something back, but I'm just saying, like, don't waste your time, don't invest your time into stupid stuff like drama okay if it don't got your name on it don't it don't it it shouldn't mean nothing to you okay like just 
swipe it away, move along, okay? Now, if we do get your name on it, I'm not saying make a scene, but you need to make sure you stand up for yourself, which leads to the next, you know, the next thing, the next tip. I can't speak. Stand up for yourself. Never let somebody talk about you or disgrade you and whatever you feel like. Don't ever let nobody do that because if they if they see that it bothers you and you're not doing nothing about it they're gonna keep doing it so you need to make sure you stand up for yourself and express yourself but you can express yourself and not be in drama or you know be involved in some bull so just make sure you do that because one if somebody can if you show that other people that you'll stand up for yourself, they're not gonna mess with you. They're just gonna be like, I don't got nothing to say. Like, she cool. So, yeah. The next tip would be dating. I feel like relationships can be very draining sometimes, especially when you're in high school and you don't really know yourself. Like, you think you know something, but you don't. And then you'd be like, ah. Why aren't you talking to me? And I would say like don't get a boyfriend, but then I would say get a boyfriend so you know how it feels to like be in a relationship. Just don't get caught up in your relationship. Don't ever like I don't know how to say it, but don't pick your your boyfriend or girlfriend over school. Like I said, stay focused. Okay, this relates back to staying focused. The next topic I want to talk about is friendship. You're going to go into school with some associates, friends, whatever you want to call it, you know. And if it's your best friend, y'all need to stick together, okay? It's going to be people wherever you go, whichever you go to high school, middle school, college, anything. There's going to be people that want to break you guys up, okay? They're going to try because they see what you have and they want what you have that friendship they want somebody to be that friend to them but do not let anybody get between your friendship don't do it because at the end of the day i mean if you allow that to happen at the end of the day y'all really wasn't friends y'all really wasn't rocking with each other and maybe finding it out sooner than later i mean gotta save yourself some time but like for real don't let somebody come in between your friendship like if y'all got a problem, talk it out, okay? Of course, y'all probably not gonna agree, but y'all gotta come to some type of common ground to understand what the situation was and where can y'all go from that situation. Don't just let it go, because if you just let it go, then it was pointless and you didn't care. Like, don't be stubborn. Do not be stubborn, okay? Have a heart and take some consideration that you might have did something wrong or they might have did something wrong and y'all need to figure out what y'all need to do to move forward okay that's all i'm saying and i don't even know what number i'm on but like the goal for school is of course get your education but you guys need to have fun okay you only live once you need to enjoy every day. If you caught up in drama, you're not gonna you're gonna be worried about that. If you caught up in a a terrible relationship, you're gonna be worried about that. If you caught up in a, a friendship that you like going, I don't know. You get involved with the school, go to games, go to um, join a club, you know, join a sport, stay active, do something. Just don't sit around and watch other people have fun because at the end of the day that's not even fun like you need to do your shit okay and that's how you meet people don't be afraid to meet new people okay i'm not saying just go hang out with them and trust them right away because that shit did but i'm just saying like don't be afraid to step outside your comfort zone you might find like your best friend and a person that you never would have thought you would talk to last but not least must like two things but i want to say cause people is crazy um you know you can do whatever you want but i personally suggest that you do not do drugs 
<laughs> do not do drugs, y'all. Like, y'all just ruining your body. Don't do it. Don't drink, okay? Because when you drink, do drugs. Sometimes it results in stupid stuff and you end up in situations that you might not get out of. I'm just saying, you got to be safe. Be safe. Be safe. Be safe. And if you guys are involving yourself in some type of, how do I say this without being very graphic, sexual activities, you need to make sure that you protect yourself, okay? Because not everybody is truthful. Not everybody out is out here just being with one person okay so y'all just need to protect yourself definitely because one you don't want to have no kids you're trying to get your education and you don't need to be focused about that and two there's so many like stds out here that are so disgusting some that you can't even get rid of you need to be careful I mean, I prefer y'all not to do it at all, but I can't tell y'all what to do, so. Just be careful, okay? For real. But, like, I'm just giving y'all some advice so y'all can have a good year, have a successful year, and enjoy yourselves. For real. Wait. Last but not least, I stress this so many times. People do not listen to me when I say this. Hygiene. Hygiene is the key to life. <laughs> do not go to school stinking. It don't make no sense if you come to school and it's like 8 o'clock, 7 o'clock, any time of the day. You should not come to school stinking. Be considerate of the person that you got to sit next to, okay? Don't nobody want to smell that. And I know people be like, oh, I'm deodorant free. I don't do that. <sighs> Please. I'm begging you. Please do not come to school sneaking. Brush your teeth. Wash your face. <sighs> wash your face. And please do not come to school sneaking. Because me personally... I'm the type of person, I know this may be rude and all, but I'm going to be like, look, you want some of this? Matter of fact, you can have it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I will tell somebody, like, you want some gum? Or you want some of this spray? Or I got deodorant spray. It's for boys and girls. Like, I mean, it's really for girls, but boys be using it too, you know? But please, I'm telling you, don't do it. Like, I should not get a headache from you because you stink. If I get a headache or if somebody else get a headache because you stink, something is wrong, okay? You need to reconsider your older hygiene preference, okay? something but i feel like you should just be considerate of somebody else just be considerate i don't want you to get talked about i don't want people not to talk to you because you you smelling a little funny and i know everybody got that bad day well not everybody but some people have bad days but like I know you smell yourself stinking. It's no way that you don't smell yourself. If I feel a little like anything, I smell myself. So I know you smell yourself. And if you just immune to yourself smelling like that, baby, you need to reconsider some things. For real. Now, I know some people don't need deodorant. Their body just don't sweat like everybody else. They don't get musty. I get that. But, like, 
Yeah, if I don't smell you, then we cool. Okay, I think I've touched on everything that I want to talk that I wanted to talk about and inform you guys on. Um, if you guys want to see a part two, not this, because that's four. If you guys want to see a part two on tips for school, I got y'all. Just let me know. Comment below. Like this video. Share this video. Watch my other videos. Y'all, don't just check out this one. Go check out my other videos. I have the funniest prank video ever on my channel and it's hilarious like no matter how many times I watch it I just laugh and not only because I did it but other people tell me that too like they keep watching the video over and over and over so I know it's good so y'all should go check that out let me know what y'all think about that video watch my other videos I got some hair tutorial videos I got some um, story times I got all of that I got all of that so y'all should just go check out my channel okay and I want to thank you guys for watching and I promise I'm gonna get it together okay I think I'm gonna start I got a little I got a little solution okay I got a little schedule I'm gonna get on and I'm gonna just be throwing videos out there throwing 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 and then y'all gonna be happy and then I'm gonna be happy too and I'm gonna be like, hey, y'all be happy. <laughs> okay. LJ is about to edit this video and post this video. So, yeah. I'll see you guys very soon. Bye, guys.